Hello there everyone and welcome to what will probably be the final episode in the Eureka A to Z series in which we're playing as medical robots. No, we're playing as uh, the, the Varro Enclave, thank god. And the Montana chapter is dying like crazy. We need to go to war with Bismarck. But we'll do that after we take out the Reclamation Depot. Um, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We're just going to continue going down through many of our focuses as we're currently doing. We're building Hollywood, so... We have that going on for us, which is fantastic. Good, 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 good. And very nice. Scrap your next, and Bismarck, and we'll go back up and... Oh, maybe we'll take all these guys out down here. I think we'll be okay if we do that. Beautiful. Look at all those encirclements. Well, we're just trying to rebuild America. That's all we've ever wanted. We have digital encryption going on. We've got some digital... or encryption. Um, but we're doing some stuff that we've never done before. I've never done this on the channel. So we did Ultra Sight Lasers. Now we're doing the Ninth Ray, which I'll show you after uh, this is all done and taken care of. Um, so, the Ninth Ray. The wonders of the universe never cease to amaze. Even trying to describe this frequency stumps the minds of researchers who had a show to be believed. Have there always been colors we've never seen? How does it carry more energy than a gamma wave? What else are our current general models missing? We may never find the answers to everything, but one thing is clear. These rays are the future of mankind. Fantastic. I've never actually researched that before. I've never gone down the far the, uh, the research trees. So, that's actually really cool. But we're here wanting to destroy Bismarck. And as we're building Hollywood. And, uh, yeah, we are doing pan-nationalism. When does it expire? September 1st? <laughs> Yeah, it takes over almost a thousand days to research the ninth ring, so or ninth ray. We'll never get there, but whatever. Wait, what's the other one we can take out? Oh, Helios Morris. Oh, good. They immediately start attacking us. Yes, yeah, so we don't have enough uh, organization, but whatever. We'll go in and we'll destroy him like that. Very good. We're building Hollywood. And since we're here, we'll do the Queen of Nevada. If you want to read this again, please go right ahead. Thank you very much. Ah, another division encircled. Bismarck, Oh, how about you guys just take out those motorized? They probably won't be able to stand up to us very much, which is good. Go and finish them off. You don't need, need to do that. Just go do that. That's all I have to do. There you go. See? Simple. Simple. Very nice. Oh, oh, well, actually, quite a few things around here. Nice. Bismarck, very good. Well, with well, them gone. Uh, 15 days, not bad. So, can we have a full front line here? Oh, no, we cannot. Of course not. Why would we? Or, you know, instead of that, let's let them come on in. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. So, we. Something like that. Uh. There. We can take out all this other stuff inside here. Whatever. And we'll push back out. Hey, more political power. I, yeah, I guess we could use more political power. We still have more stuff to core, I suppose. You know. Basic training appointments. We already have Lockery Aeronautics. Poseidon Energy wouldn't be bad. Actually, that'd be pretty good for us. More agility wouldn't be bad. But this one's for fighters, which is okay. Bloomfield Space Center. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, construction speed. Honestly, Poseidon Net was a pre-war energy company. Controlling electricity, many ruins of their old buildings in tech still remain. Power stations, I mean, we need more energy, so. What else is new? Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, still love old world blues, as you can tell. Fantastic mod by the devs. Go do that. Um, this looks ugly. The way we have it, like this. Let's go in Core Klamath. Ooh, even more manpower. Look at that, nice. Alright, let him come on in. I don't really care. What are we missing here? Medical. Oh. Ah, yes. So we actually need medical robots. They're, they're the, their own thing. Oh, God. They require more aluminum. Um, here. Okay, whatever. Uh... Right gear, transfer planes. Uh, Pit of Vipers, Reno, a city of sin and squalor is of whores and wine. Ooh, yay. Uh, one wonders why we even need the city given that Vegas offers the same services. Still, it has a taxable population and someone somewhere might be worthy of saving in this gosh darn filth. A few options to handle the city. We can keep it for ourselves or we can turn it over to the Vault City, assuming uh, they are an ally, but why not 
let the Van Graffs run it. If anyone has value here, it's surely Tiare, a woman of sufficient breeding charisma that one assumes that she has all of her chromosomes, and she will be happy enough to support us when we took over the NCR. You know, it's a useful outpost. The Van Graffs can run it for a price. Becomes owner of that. Uh -huh. Press of all cities is a new sword. Well, we don't want them. I want to give it. I did. I did liberate Dayglo. Reno lost. Whatever. Um, so let's liberate Reno. I want to see if there's anything different for Reno at all. Tiara, Mama Van Graaff. So they get their old focus street back, basically. Okay, so they can at least do stuff here. I mean, that in mind, and we're still building stuff up for where where we're at. However, I'm also thinking. What if we reduced... Ooh, actually, they have aluminum, too. Uh, the autonomy down here of Dayglow. Look at all the stuff they have. Oh, my God. My God, is it like you still? Uh, here, you need these. Because I said so. There you go. Destroy their autonomy. Yeah, they both have, have them as a the front line. I want you to get all the way down to three. Start planning some more. I'll, we'll let it go on just for a little bit first. And war propaganda still have more than 33 percent. Why is that? Combat casualties goes up by 0 0.09 every week. Holy crap! Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter at all. Bottle caps economy. Mm, sure, new system care package. Why not? Safe funded radio broadcasting. More daily political power. Why not? You know. That looks a little better right there. Let's go this one too. Okay, there you go. Oh wow! Look at that. I get all adventurous here. Hope they do the same thing again, because they just lost 2,000 people. I think we have to take out the Montana Enclave before we're done here, though. Please, attack us again. Ooh. Okay, everybody's here, too. Because we can make some cats, finally. It's not much. Need some planes too, but whatever. Oh my god. Alright, go ahead. Oh, I guess they don't have them there. Anyways, whatever. That's alright. Why didn't use for mutants? Oh, grenade machine guns, yay! Uh, let's see. I think you never get down into this part anymore. Plus 50% more defense and more soft attack, or more breakthrough hard attack. Um, I like soft attack. Cyclic firing. We do, we do get attacked quite a bit on defense, so making ourselves even more stronger in defense doesn't sound like a bad idea. Who would ambush us? Like, bruh. What idiot would dare ambush literally the Enclave? It didn't make no sense to me. But we're finding uses for our mutants. And... I read through all these last time, so... Necropolis, a home for ghouls. Ah. Yes. Oh, they died. Well, we can just go to the Belden Quarantine Center. i probably just go straight to Sanctum. Uh, they've lost only 18,000 so far. After that, we're going to go to war with the uh, the last readout. Led by Leo Maldonado. Huh. Counts of post-nuclear tra trade labor. Huh. The 10th trade. Do they need focus trade or something? No. That's cool, though. Manage subjects. Autonomy. Should be going down quite a bit. Oh, look at this. Randolph Williams. Oh, yes, please. Oh, wow. You actually are encountering quite a few enemies here, aren't you? That sucks. Well, I'll finish them off, you know. Could do that, but I did that by accident. Um. Awareness? Spec Ops? You know, well, let's do something I never do. Organization loss when moving is not bad. Um, motorized, Nightkin. I never do Reinforced Raid or Lead Foot. Let's do Lead Foot, just because we lose less organization when moving. Doesn't do very much for us, but whatever. Defenses are online. Good. Civilian wetware, nice. Even more research speed, yeah. And we should have them. About 60,000 manpower. Happy January 1st, 2291. 
There we go. You know, you think when you take out more nations, it get maybe a little faster. Mod wood. But it really doesn't. It's strange. Because after that, we're going to the War of the Jacksons. This is weird. Who are the Jacksons? Is it like Andrew Jackson, I suppose? Good old Andrew Jackson. Never did anything wrong. Uh, store naval weapon station, Seal Beach, yep. And after Necropolis, our man of reading is what we do next. We went out there. Oh, wait. Oh, we get Montana. Wait, you guys survived? <laughs> our man of Mexico. Managed democracy. Simply like firing. Oh, yeah. Missile launchers. Tesla cannons. Oh. Gobernaria Ikerida is technically a mutant wastelander, but do we really care what Mexicans do? Just think how useful he could be to secure us on the flank. Oh, well, I guess you can't do that one then. Are you missing something here? Oh, medical robots. Oh, we're not making any. Why are we. Oh, you're at the, oh, the bottom. Damn power armor. Nah, we don't need it all. We're good. 34,000 manpower. Why is that? No, not attack again. That yeah, boy have a cup of green tea. It keeps nice and warm. That's nice satisfied. Well, that's not very many cast planes. Is that? Alright, just take them out then. Whatever. Jackson's, you're next. Nice. And that should be it for infantry. So we actually have a full group here now. Go and train. Ooh. Do you not have good supply through here? Well, luckily for you, we can fix that. Uh, well, actually, you might already have good supply. There you go. Hmm. Ah, last readout. Pretty good. Let's see what the Montana Enclave says to us. Anti Ghoul Paranoia. I've had sports masters. That's very nice. Testicles. So what, what, what was Volpus up to? Oh, they, oh, that's good. He has no manpower. A true patriot. Some call Anton Flynn a uh, turncoat, but I don't think he'll be further from the truth. He merely recognizes the United States of America as a wasteland's best hope for peace and works with us to that end, of course. He is a perfect exemplar of the uh, enclave in California's destiny. No longer shall such men be bound by soft-hearted fools who ignore the cause of progress. Flynn is by one of the many few patriots across the New California who are willing to look past the provincial loyalties and to work with Navarro to build a brighter future. Won't you, my fellow Americans, follow his example? God bless the enclave. Freedom of religion. While there's much unusual about the Habologists, they have been our allies for years. And slowly their faith, reaching for the stars, and demanding strict obedience from their followers, aligns with the enclave more than the followers. Oh, Star Father's Church. If you have already cored San Francisco, you'll get resources there instead. Oh. I don't think we've recorded yet. No, we've not. Oh my god, that'd be so nice to record it, though. Cool. Look how much more money we're making now. Because we need more money, totally. Um, rapidly discharging. Ooh. Heart attack. We want rapidly discharging. I like it to rapidly discharge. Discharge. Actually, no, maybe. Anyways. Mm -hmm. You may have a loan. I know we're generous. We're generous guys. They're actually beating us in some places here, huh? Illuminate. Ruminators. Looks like a woman who needs to eat a little more. All right, go ahead. We lost 40 versus 4,000. Uh, we had better casualty ratio than that before. I 
There you go, nice. Is there anyone out there? Although the president was on the rig, some of the enclave fled east. Perhaps even now the enclave marshals its forces in Chicago and Appalachia and Guantanamo, the capital itself. Who knows what we might find? Yeah. Who's ambushing our caravans? Is it NCR remnants? It probably is. Did we put more mobile fortifications on our guys? We did, that's good. So let me check and make sure we did. Ooh, let's develop elite weapons demo additions. Red glare rocket launchers. Oh. Heck yeah. Combining what we've learned about rapid fire destructive weapons with their vast missile launchers, she will be able to create a launcher capable of firing a velocity or volley of incendiary rockets at anyone who stands in her way. Why not? Cyber doggos. I am noticing a distinct lack of planes up here. not bad. This is sticking out too much though. Well, they're not going to do anything. Guess we need to go in then. Beautiful. The purpose of the rig. Our fathers can never quite tell us what the Enclave was doing on the rig. Some sort of plan to rebuild America, obviously. To save the wasteland, no doubt. But they're not senior enough to know the details. But now we control, with control of the Brotherhood archives and Shady Sands materials, we're going to reveal the truth. All the way some will sing our praises when we're through. We got a fruit basket. Despite the confusion of MacArthur, we were fed with heroes and wayward soldiers. Although a few bureaucrats claimed we were technically deserters, the results speak for themselves. Special Agent Johnson was even offered us a, a fruit basket from a scientific facility containing plants not seen since the Great War. And also some suggestions for a power armor. Virtue is its own reward, but I really like mangoes too. Is that is that is that it? You're not gonna ally with them? Manage democracy. At long last, we're gonna have elections just like uh, they did before the war. Sadly, President Eden is too busy to meet with our scouts. Doubtless, he is busy for what we hear is preparing to defend the capital wasteland. Can you imagine that? When he succeeds, Enclave will rule from sea to glowing sea. What could be better? Still, the Secretary of the Interior is happy to send, a, uh, send an aide to communicate. The Corporal congratulated us on destroying the Lost Hills Bunker as he fights with a brother chapter in Illinois as well. And he promises that we can take part in his great work very soon. God bless the Enclave. Oh. Let's go ahead. How would you all just do that? How do you deal? Metal mouths. God, that sounds painful. Anyways. Are we, are we done with them yet? Like, scrap shacks? There you go. Nice. Kingsley. That's a lot of energy up here. Four aluminum, that'd be nice. Um, oh, but there's nine here. Yeah, we have to do this one first, but we don't have enough uh, political power. Oh, I know, it's terrible. It's god awful, really. Working on them. And we need a crap ton of political power to do this, too. Hey, I can offer certain as always. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Nothing here yet that we really want. Cyber dogs. Yes, please. 
What do they cost? Aluminum? Oh, they don't. Okay, that's water and uh, circuitry. Ooh, that's not good. We actually are incurring a slight uh, supply penalty, huh? Takes about a month. Eh, we'll see what we can do. FEV curling at 13. Our parents told us that the rig was a research facility designed to cure the wasteland, but the brother of Drucker tells us a different tale. The rig was a research lab for biological weapons designed to kill millions of people. Many of us have grown up with the wasteland mothers and fathers. Others were adopted or joined Grant's company's ranks. If these files are correct, that, that had the trouble failed, we would be dead. The reaction of our has been very but grim. More than one officer has taken his own life, or if the story is true, what did we do? A band of mercenaries destroyed a nation which aspired to the ideals of America. This can't be true. It isn't true, Grant realized. The brother of the NCR hated the Enclave and concocted a dark plot and propaganda to besmirch America's founders. Were mistakes made? Perhaps. Excesses in pursuit of saving the nation? Maybe. But with the story the files told could not be true. Still, piecing together the data gave the Enclave some unique ideas. Execute Brotherhood POWs for spreading propaganda. We get 20% more compliance in over 60 places. Admittedly, everyone in New California liked that. What the devil is a Horrigan? There goes apparently most impressive. I like this one. Everyone in New California like it, but we're gonna go with this one just because we get more tech. I like the tech stuff. We're, we're managing democracy, yeah, yeah. And then let prisoners serve. Occupying all of New California and carrying the war elsewhere, straining resources. Or should we have a? <clears throat> uh, a plentiful supply of volunteers in New Camp Turtle Dove. That's right, we did reopen up a new Camp Turtle Dove. That's 100% correct. With advanced understanding of fire team weaponry, we believe it to be possible to go beyond our current technology and create a devastating high caliber auto cannon capable of being carried by infantry. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Diablo Canyon Power Station. So, right now, capacity is 16 and a half million basically. We're only a quarter of the way there. Do you not want to die by our hand? What's wrong with you? Northern Cons. Uh, Baron's Eyrie. So what is your focus tree like for the Northern Cons? Oh, it's nothing! Oh no, what happened to the, oh, the Great Cons? I really... Western Enclave, Montana Enclave. I just don't like that they're independent of us. There can only be one Enclave here. What we should do is just power armor, repower armor. Oh, we actually make another power armor division. Let's, let's speak of the devil. Now we just need political power to demote them. Manage democracy. And then, uh, looting brother stockpiles. You know, they kept some pretty cool stuff in this bunker. Oh, 500 units of T-51B power armor is added to the national stockpile, which is worth some what we have. We lost those bunker changes into the Dick Richardson Memorial. Oh, perfect. Perfect. We're only making... Are we even making two political power a day? I don't think so. Only one and a half. Oh, so sad. Never enough political power. You think as a Navarro Enclave you'd have more political power, but... Things cost political power, I guess. Bridge will... Oh! Oh, that's cheaper than what we thought. Nice. Oh, wow. Actually, you can them pretty quickly, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, you, you completely went around Harlow's town. Oh, look at that! Beautiful! Alright. Yep. Anything else over here? Nope. Unfortunately not. Robotics. So... Piercing is 27. Red Rocket Glare. That's a missile launcher, right? A rocket launcher. So, Piercing is 27, and a Tesla Cannon gives you that. Um, no, we need the missile launcher. Yeah.
Missing a lot of fighters. What category is this? Oh, demo equipment. Oh. Well, which one would we rather have? Any machine guns. 15 defense, soft attack. It's better on soft attack. Gives you actual piercing, too. Bre better breakthrough. It's better for everything. Production cost is a little more, but you know what? Well, that's okay. Heart attack. 19 versus 15. Ah. There you go. Nice. Let's get the Baron's Diary next. Yeah. Nice. And Lancing the Legion. Which we can do automatically, pretty much. We can consider the focus if we really wanted to. Kaiser's a degenerate fool, aping an ancient regime with no relevance to the wasteland. How appropriate then that Enclave shall take him down? Did they attack us already? Looks like they did. Did they do anything? Of course not. Oh, go ahead. Take him out. Take him out to dinner. That's right. We're going to give him a nice steak meal. Steak the heart. Casper like a ghost. Ah, encircled and destroyed immediately. Within a matter of a couple hours, just destroyed. Oh, imagine if you destroy enemies in your own real life like that. It's a good thing I don't have many enemies then. Mm -hmm. And after that, we'll go to war with the, the entire Legion group here. We should be fine, I'm not worried about it. Still working on them. In the meantime, how we core something else in? I want to core this so badly, but this is this too ugly to be here. There. Did it help us out? Eh, it got slightly better. Not by much, though. Scrap bot's cool. Oh, just destroying them. Hello? Oh, bots. Whatever. Get down to lander. We lost ten versus twenty-three thousand. Not good enough yet. I need a war where we literally lose nobody. See, we lost eleven people now. That's too many. Hello. Okay, so they have no manpower. That's very, very concerning because. That tells me that they might have they might have a crap ton of resistance, maybe. Well, maybe not. Depends against where they're at, I suppose. Have we built the? It looks like we did build quite a few air bases down here too. Oh, that's good. Maybe even better radar stations. Yeah, three, three. Oh, we paid more money. Love it. A lot of Cap's economy. Casper's back. Citizens care package. More political power. Good stuff, of course. Basic well pumps, because the Enclave could not figure that out beforehand, of course. Because why would they be able to? And after that, I'm going forward looking back. Against all odds, the grander is stored of our own subdued its ancient enemies. It's time to reflect on all that he's accomplished. And visit the place where it all began. And remember the rig, of course. Slashing it down. Actually, with our political power, would we have enough to uh, actually go to every camp for the army if we can fight these guys? Or when we fight them? Good question to ask, actually. That's for support, whatever. Capacity is almost at roughly 20 million, which is not enough, of course. Oh, earned 10 million caps in total. Oh, some more down here. Yeah, whatever. Boys, we're still trying to get to the line. No rush. 
And now smell trees. Because if you get civilian wetware, prime robots would be cool. Articulated robot hands. Ooh, I like hands. Oh, it's this one. Mounted lock keepers. Ooh, I like a mounted. Mass propaganda. Ooh, weekly works for Calma Couch. We could really use that one right now, probably. Yeah, we could still use that one. Defensive war penalty st stability modifier. Doesn't matter at this point. Alright, well. We do that. They're gonna find some find some way to go around, isn't it? Oh, we should probably just do. Repair. I knew they'd attack us somewhere here. I'm not really sure where. How much manpower do they got? 50! 50. 50 dudes. You know when attacking? What's wrong with you? Ah, we can't go to every cup for the army. We can do everyone for the war machine, too. Where are we at? So with this one, we're at 6%, 7, 8, 9%. So we're at uh, 8% here. 8% minus 3%. Yeah, we can go everyone for the war machine. Why not? And then we can get out of this one, and then we can do distrust outsiders. Because right now we get roughly three physical power a day. Is that all that are going to attack me? Come on, man, that's not cool. Oh, I didn't even give you orders. God, bless America. Go ahead, just turn on center. Oh god, they're doing force defense. Oh my god. Yes, please. Oh, they actually broke our ciphers too. Oh, they probably had it broken for a while. Ooh, do we have their... Oh, we didn't even do their ciphers? Oh my god, what's wrong with me? What in the tar nation is wrong with me? Oh god, they are forcing the defense, and this is all infantry stuff going on. How much damage are we doing? Oh, 135, that's not enough. They've only 462 planes. Or 329 up here. Uh, doing okay. Doing alright. Oh god. South Mojave is doing okay damage. North Mojave is where the damage is really going. Alright. Not sure if I necessarily will call it a fair fight, but you know what? I think it's fair for us. Oh, look at that. Well, they've lost 17,000. Or I guess 25,000 in total, really. You guys are going to stop that, because y'all want to make sure we get this little hole here, too. Entered the soul. Oh, you're part of the pre fire test why. You actually made a good choice this time in this campaign. Nelson. Ranger Station Echo. Yeah, so I do see the hole there, too. Alright, where you at? Right by Hoover Dam. Good. So, anyways, what else? Prim, man, I've not seen that name in a long, long time. Power arms is going to town. Love it. We can link up through here. We can actually get quite a few armies through here. And a full fat front line. There you go. Just pouring through here. Please and thank you. Damage now. Let's see. Southern Arizona. I want to go to Arizona now so badly. Flagstaff. Eh. Eh. You know, never enough vertebrates. as much damage as I'd like. Then again, there's probably not that many air, air bases around here, so. Just destroying them, shredding through them. Love it. 
Keep building, keep building, keep building. I don't think we'll take Alanius though. He went all the way to freaking Oklahoma. Let me read this one, please go ahead. How did the Legion have this many slaves? Easy. We're probably just calling Superman. Involuntary workers, uh, servants. Even 50 more energy. Daily gain of 4.4 thousand. The air uses maximum consumption per day is 33,000 for the air. It's not bad. Nice. Repair the western boat lift. Yeah, why not? Long friendly vessels to circumnavigate Hoover Dam. Ah, yeah, there two suns. How we doing? Fantastic. Here, basic care of equipment. I literally have nothing else to throw at you can I keep saying aluminum, but it's uh, composite materials keep eating up so much. Nuevo Galin Galena. Galena? Not even halfway done. Well, a little more than halfway done. Still. God, I love the Enclave. Yeah, I might just leave him alone. You know? Yeah, probably just leave him alone. Even though, theoretically, I would probably want to get rid of them. But they, they did give us a fruit basket, so we can't take them out just yet. Maybe next time I play as the Enclave, we'll take them out. Actually, I probably will. I'm going to get to Enclave Plus, if, if it still works at the time of this recording. What are you doing? You find enemies. You find these savages, these brutes. Basic aquifers, nice. Very cool. I guess we don't have that yet researched. Guided munitions are very good. Actually, did I get all this stuff done yet? Yeah, we've got it all done. Jesus Christ, that's insane. I played this for way too long. This campaign lasted a lot longer than I thought we would. I knew we could get the Enclave at the very beginning, but I didn't know how, how much Enclave content there actually was. There's was quite a bit. Well, I guess... Yeah, it's quite a bit, yeah. And depending on how far you want to take it. Like, you probably don't want to play until 2292 for me. I mean, we literally almost had like, an entire generation go through everybody. Like, go through the entire thing here, so... Blimps, they're just not, there's no place for blimps in overall blues right now. Not really. Nice. I'd be very surprised if we could not save them. What is city? Two suns, what the heck happened up there? Oh, what? what? Oh, we were over here too? Huh. A power armor white mesa. Still working on them. Takes a while to get them done. Even when wasteland management, how many cities do we have? 191. It seems like we're missing quite a few, though. Uh, consumer goods are 44 percent. We need to lower it even more if possible, but I don't know if that's possible or not. My God, we actually got them. Nice. Yeah, just add them there. Do that, and you know what you can do? You can just go and train because that's what we like to do here. Going forward, looking back, nice, beautiful. I like how with the Montana Enclave right in the middle of this, um, they're kind of stuck up through there. So, and we could take them out easily, but they gave us a fruit basket. God dang it! Hmm. It's hard to tell where the borders begin and where borders end. God, I feel like it's going to crash with how many things are going on here. But they were nice to us. I would just take them out anyways. They have no stability. Wow, they have literally zero percent, huh? Cool. Go, go, go.
How much would it take to do this? 70 more, huh? We really need 300 political power. Alright, so remember the rig. The bird of birds swoop low over the dark blue waters and pause to stop. You could tell what once stood here uh, before the nuke went off that hundreds of men and women worked to, to dam the wasteland. They'd smash us, hollowed us, and burn the records. They killed any NCR official who knew the original story at Camp Turtle Dove. But it wasn't true, was it? The chosen one had failed. Granted, in an entire generation of the Enclave would not be alive today. Their mothers or fathers would have died drowning in their own fluids at the hands of a president none of them ever met. The entire cause they fought for, well, they were worse um, than Kai's are. Uh, worse than the Brotherhood, and they ruled the wasteland. The only democracy in the West snuffed out like a flame, an order that survived since the Great War, buried in their bunkers. Even the cause, brutal though it was, that brought order to Arizona. Crucified on the roads, they built, after a moment, granite signaled to the pilot. A bright young kid, he knew. Raising to borrow himself a mother from Reading. Perhaps the generation would do a better job. God bless the Enclave. Ooh, good. Remember the rig. Resistance target goes down. Power armor gets more attack and support attack. And get a few more resources. I love it. God, I love the Enclave. Just, I love the Fallout IP so much. I've not played Fallout, actually, in a very, 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 very long time. I can go back and play it. I've always wanted to do a, a live stream of playing Fallout, like New Vegas or something, but I just don't have time for it. Don't get older, people. Everybody. Do not get older, because you'll run out of time. I always run out of time. We're not even on the line yet, but they don't have enough divisions like us to do anything up here. And we're not even, even garrisoning the area over there either. Crap, I didn't even give you guys orders. Go. Enclave, Power Armor versus Spec Ops divisions, huh? Or even fighting over a river, too. Decent amount. They have five blimps. Let's see how we don't, we, don't, we don't have blimps. No blimps here. This is an anti blimp territory. Yeah, we're just literally just walking in for the most places. Did we. We won that instantly. Nice. Not bad. Oh, they got 40 planes there, huh? Montana. Montana's a beautiful state. Expensive to live in, though, but my god. It is a beautiful. Up to 20 divisions max. 3,000 left. Decent. Oh, we're 11,000 caps. I know we started very, very poor, but, you know, whatever. It happens every campaign. Can't wait to play as MacArthur again. Alright, so Dayglow, where are you at? Are they getting there? Certainly getting there. Getting to the heart of, the, of there is going to be kind of difficult, though. God, you can barely tell it's a tile. Yellowstone, beautiful place too. Nice, just to completely destroy that division. Now there are 13 divisions. Lost 5,000 manpower, lost 102. About, about right. Nice. 73 divisions right there, wow. Bozeman, Montana. Been there before, too. Um, yeah, I guess go up there, too. Go ahead, y'all. No point in just waiting here. We are literally all over the place here. My god. Browning, huh? Straight port. Just don't think we'll be able to get rid of those guys, yes. This campaign, yeah. Be 
Beautiful. Remember the rig. Water tin, huh? Well, there can only be one enclave in the M. Let's just say we told Chicago that uh, they became very rebellious when we told them that there can only be one enclave. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign like I did, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.